So in the next five to 10 years, I would say my biggest goal is to be the UFC champion. Uh, my name's Ezra Elliott. I'm 23 years old, uh, MMA fighter, fighting out of Phoenix, Arizona at the MMA lab. I won the 2023 Arizona ADCC Open. I was a 2019 IHSA. Illinois uh, High School Wrestling State Champion. Right now, I have no ceilings or limits for myself. I'm taking it one day at a time, just staying present, training hard every day, two days every day, just grinding and getting better. Of course, I want to be UFC champion, and I have the aspirations to be the best in the world. Like any other fighter, I, you know, I think I, I can definitely accomplish that if I keep working the way I'm working. But um, we'll see what God has planned for me, and we'll see where this thing takes me. Some of my inspirations, you know, a lot of people I train with, you know, I've been some of my biggest inspirations. Sugar, of course. Guys like Kyler Phillip, Mario Batista, uh, Marcus M Maniac McGee. The list goes on. Benson Henderson. The guys I'm training with every day, they seem to be my biggest inspiration. I see how hard they work day in and day out. You know, they've been doing this for over a decade. And I see where, where it's taken them. So I'm following the same path and trying to do the same thing. Uh, the thing I think is the most difficult it's just really it's a balance of like your mental energy in a day not burning the torch too early the week's a marathon and uh if you burn the torch too early you're no good by the end of the week for that last sparring day you know so i think a lot of it is you know you gotta know your body train hard but don't overdo it where you can't train hard the next day um i think my favorite part is just the people i'm doing it with everyone surrounding me like they're some of my best friends now I've only been at the lab for two years, but all the friendships and relationships I've made with everyone, the prices. Whenever I went into the tournament, I had only competed at blue belt before. So I'm purple belt, but I haven't competed at purple. And this uh, tournament competed at black belt. So it was my first time going from blue to black. It's a pretty big jump, but I'm always confident going into competition and just people I train with are so high level. I know, I know where I stack with some of the best guys. So it didn't surprise me or anything, but in some way it did cement that like I do belong. I'm definitely a, more of a grappler than I am a striker in my style, of course, but I'm an all around martial artist now and I'm, I'm growing into. So I think that just kind of proves where my grappling's at and, and within the next few years where it's going to go. So I'm going to be a problem for a lot of these guys in MMA. Whenever uh, we hit the mats, they're going to be in trouble. Yes, yeah, I don't think, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't think I fight very much like him on all my feet. But so I would say, yeah, probably no one. They, I think the past generations, uh, they were figuring it out. You know, there was even, even just a few years ago, the internet wasn't as much of a thing where like now you can, when I get done training, I go home and I'm studying. I'm like sitting there on my phone, I'm studying, I get my notepad out and I'm, I'm writing stuff and I'm bringing it in the next day. And I'm asking my coaches, what do you think about this? And I'm always picking my, training partners brains and that's kind of what we do we just like our collective consciousness and we really work hard together and problem solve so i think the difference now is the answers are out there you just got to look for them where before you had to know someone that knew it to really get to get to learn something where now there's just the internet just kind of changed the whole game so in the next five to ten years i would say my biggest goal is to be the ufc champion it's kind of the end game for me that's well, you know that's in the world that's the pinnacle of the sport so that's where i'd want to be some other aspirations uh, i have some grappling aspirations i i really enjoy competing and just grappling and uh i would like to be an adcc world champion that's the biggest thing in grappling uh the adcc rule set is a full rule set i feel like where there's the there's the wrestlings involved too and i love the sport of wrestling and uh, adcc has the most wrestling involved compared to IBJJF or other rule sets. Those are my two main goals, UFC champion, ADCC champion.